Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot. How are you doing guys? Um, lovely to see you here for your singles tarot reading for the month of March 2022. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. This is for you guys. So singles reading, let's see some current energies in March regarding your love life. What are the energies regarding your love life surrounding you? What messages do need to come through from spirit for you guys? We will see maybe if there is a block or something like that, okay, um, regarding your love life. And we will see if there is a new relationship coming through um, in the near future. Also, I'm going to check out some more specific time indications at the end of the tarot reading. So if you want to know more about them, make sure to stay tuned. All right, Scorpio, the Hierophant and the Sun, Eight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ah, King of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, the World Queen of Cups. Guys, we do have a perfect match for you. I love that. Great. Honestly, very, very good. Now, Scorpio, before we start, don't forget these are free general tarot messages. Some of them may resonate, some of them may not. If you feel like you need any more information, please make sure to check out your other placements readings. Um, especially your moons, your Venus, and your rising signs tarot reading, okay? Yeah, let me see. Look at them. This is you and your perfect match. This is you and your future partner, okay? Doesn't have to be a male-female combination. Um, tarot is just working with masculine and feminine energy, guys. You're here represented as the Queen of Cups, your future person as the King of Cups. Could also be a water sign you're going to deal with right? Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or someone with a significant water placements in the birth chart. I do have Taurus energy here as well and Leo energy too. Right, really nice. Okay, yeah. So something is showing up here. I do think Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. We have the Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. I do feel that maybe you've been struggling a little bit in the recent past. You have been struggling. Um, for some of you guys, um, maybe you were was hard to find a balance between your private life and your work life. For lots of you, you were focusing on your work life. Could be maybe you felt a bit trapped. There could have been anxiety issues going on for you. But there is a change, a shift in your energy. It's okay. Eat of once and a quick one, a rapid one, fast one. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> what was the laugh? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit silly today, but I'm taking that seriously. Definitely. Okay. I'm just happy to see the eight of ones that was <laughs> that was the laugh, the little laugh about because I do love seeing that. I honestly do. Eight of ones is a fast moving energy. It will bring change. And the eight of ones always comes with the um, with the advice to just go with the flow and try to let go of control issues. Right. So it could happen fast for you. OK, but I can definitely see the shift in your energies. I can definitely see you're breaking free. Maybe um, you're overly anxious about the f your future love life. Maybe you've kind of lost hope, staying up at wa awake at night, thinking, pondering, where do I need to go with my life? Or will I ever have this partner? Can I ever build this life for me? OK, and Tarot is telling you um, there's going to be the shift in your energies and change will come soon. Definitely. OK, I do see a very loyal and trustworthy person coming in the Knight of Pentacles cools and we have Taurus energy so yeah it could be a Taurus or maybe a Taurus rising it's your sister sign so good match I I say I'd say <laughs> I do have a Scorpio rising I do have a Scorpio uh, Mars and Pluto too but I do have a Scorpio rising and with Taurus people Taurus sun signs it's just naturally we're, we're naturally attracting each other okay um, Taurus are great people though a Knight of Pentacles is one of the mo most loyal energies in tarot. And I do see a bit of like a friendship-like um, relationship too. Like this could also be your best friend, right? The Hierophant here is very interesting. You guys could share the same religious beliefs, spiritual beliefs. Um, maybe you guys going to meet in church, in your church community. Um, for some of you, this could indicate marriage, right? <clears throat> if you want to get married, this could be a sign for that, that 
marriage is important to this person as well. The page of cups showed here as well, is showing, showing up here as well. And the page of cups, I love that in love readings because it shows us that um, this person is genuine, innocent. This is innocent energy. Um, so the love offer, their um, reasons, their feelings, they're genuine genuine emotions for you and I do think that they really want a committed partnership as well right we talked about the king and queen of wands perfect match beautiful match of divine masculine divine feminine energy here the yin to your yang their their yin to your yang <laughs> um but honestly though this is really nice honestly we have the sun and the world which is beautiful energy as well Scorpio the sun harmony joy warmth um, fertility. Um, I can see that there's just lots of clarity. When I see the sun, I see the primarily I see as a reader clarity. There's no fog, there's no clouds, there's no rain. So this is not a person where you, you're wondering, does this person want me or not? There's This is no nine of swords person where you're staying up awake at night and thinking, um, if this person really wants you, they're going to be very genuine, okay? And things are going to be very clear to you. The world is nice as well. The world can also be an indicator for marriage, though. And the world comes with a sense of completion, right? The circle, everything coming full circle. Options, a chapter is closing. Um, everything will make sense. Um, or a chapter is beginning as well. A new chapter. Really nice. Lots of options. Many new options coming in here. And... This could also be a sign that you and this person love to travel. For some of you, for some of you, this could be a sign that this at first will be a long distance relationship. Doesn't have to resonate with all of you guys. Just take it how it resonates for you, okay? Really, really lovely reading. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. There's going to be a really, really rapid change in your energies in your life. This person will come in really fast and it could be scary could be scary not gonna lie i'm not a sugar coder could be scary for some of you scorpio but the page of cups is reassuring us and the knight of pentacles here as well this person is loyal faithful and trustworthy okay now let's check out some romans angels and <laughs> look at that let go of control issues this is not a coincidence allow this situation to unfold naturally we have wedding. This is not a coincidence. The situation involves marriage. I was picking those energies, this wedding energies up a lot from this reading. And then we have uh, here, we have the man timing is at work in your love life worth waiting for. Even if there was a delay, things are going to change now really fast for you. Let's see some island time wellness love oracle cards. Keys on a ring popped out. Wind flames, wow. Healing heart. This is the Phoenix. Ascending addiction and not enough popped out. Let's work through them and camera. Okay. Not enough. This card says. Now we have it. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, ego issues, jealousy. Also, we have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories, and healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship, um, or addiction and here we have the phoenix new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind and also we have ascending it says transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union new phase all of the time right these energies yeah what I'm seeing here is that for some of you guys we have the nine of swords the eight of swords here those energies are a bit intense okay so it could be that you guys you really had um lots to do with healing from a past toxic relationship for some of you and you're breaking free from that now okay we have keys on a ring 
many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So what I see here with this card is that you guys could have lots of potential suitors, but when you meet this person, it will be very clear to you. Look at that, twin flames pumped out, popped out. It says, um, Yin Yang, <laughs> I talked about that. Zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Yes, this is going to be such a strong connection. And even if there are many potential suitors at the moment, once you meet this person, this will be very, very clear to you, uh, Scorpio, that this is the one for you. Okay, this is a strong connection. Yin Yang, you guys are gonna magnetically attract each other. All right, now let's see some specific time indications as promised. I work with the 12 major arcana cards that primarily correspond with the 12 zodiac signs. And I work with the seasons and the full moons. And I usually get out four cards. I'm looking for overlapping or following months, something that makes sense, okay? So we start, there's gonna be lots of information. I'm going to try talk a bit slower because I have the tendency to talk fast. And I'm gonna recap at the end anyways. So we start with your energy. Oh, sorry, I had to stop the video. Um, I got a parcel. So we have death energy, Scorpio energy. Scorpio season is of course in October, November. And the next full moon in Scorpio is going to be in May. We have Cancer energy, Cancer season is June and July, and the next full moon in Cancer is going to be next year. So May, June, July, right? We have Libra energy, Libra season is in September, October, and the next full moon in Libra is in April. April, May, June, July, and we have Pisces energy. Pisces season is as we speak, um, and the next full moon in Pisces is going to be in September. So as we already have the time indication here or, or the fast moving energy. I really feel like for lots of you, starting with Pisces, going over to April, May, June, and July, this is definitely the time indication. This is going to happen sooner than later, okay? Scorpio, thanks so, so much for watching. If you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very happy if you became a subscriber. This is how you can support me the most. By subscribing if you have already subscribed and uh, watch my videos thanks for the continuous support and otherwise i'll just see you next time guys bye love y'all stay healthy